Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews, and I wanted to sh give you a quick tip on how to uh, send an invoice using Stripe. Now, I love using Stripe rather than using PayPal or anything else because I can keep better track of things. Um, it's a little bit more professional because I don't have the PayPal logo splattered all over the place. So I wanted to show you what I do. Um, I, I make a form using this wonderful site called jotform.com it's completely free unless you're gonna send a million emails um, then there's a, a fee but I don't send very many uh, I have a few clients and um, I like to send them a nice form now when they go to my site they have this form that they fill out and then they have this other form in order to make payments but a lot of times uh, my clients will fill out this form and then for whatever reason not fill out this form and make any payments so I have to send them a reminder so in again instead of sending them a PayPal reminder um, I like to send them uh, something more professional so let's talk about how we're gonna do that let's go ahead and start from scratch here okay so here we have our form and we created a new form we named it all and I'm going to add my stripe information so you add your Stripe and then you say connect with your Stripe and um, I've already done this beforehand but of course you need to put your um, information, your credentials in there and then of course I want to charge the customer immediately and uh, all that other information. So then I want to sell some products. I'm going to add a product and the first product is going to be like I have here on my site. The first product is going to be deposit non-refundable. and it's gonna be a hundred dollars and then we we'll do the next one which is balance due and that's gonna be two hundred and then we're gonna add a new one which is wedding service payment in full and that's 300 and of course once you do this once you don't have to do this again which is what's wonderful about this and here's my information so I can delete this I don't need this my products now this this part is all set up and then um, what I like to do is when they receive the email I want them to be able to see my logo or some information so I'm gonna add uh, an image here and I'm going to upload an image. Now I've already uploaded it, so I'm just going to select what I have here. Now you see how it kind of folds over here? We don't want this to fold over like this. We want it to automatically change. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the settings here. And instead of having this width and this height, we're going to change this to zero or to nothing and then 100%. close and that way this will change depending on um, what we have so we're gonna save it we're gonna preview it and this is what we have preview a new tab here and here's our form now if we were to move this you'll see that I have this changing to a mobile version to do that because of course people are gonna be receiving it on their um, on their phones you have to make sure that when you come to your form here you go to designer and JotForm created this wonderful designer I really appreciate what they've done here it's wonderful and make sure you go to form layout and you check make this form responsive otherwise it won't reformat to becoming um, you know mobile friendly and of course you can click here and change your submit button to any type and things like that so it's it's really nice what they have here and then we're gonna go back oops this thing 
changed its height to 55, which we don't want. Close. There we go. So we save it. And here we have. Now, how do we get this to be emailed to, uh, to a client? Well, what's great about this too is we can just go ahead and do source code here. I'm sorry, not source code. Yeah, embed options here. Or we can just go embed options right here. And there's one here that's called email. And we have our email information. I'm going to send it to myself so you can see what happens. Okay, here's our body. Now, you see how it says hi, please, et cetera, et cetera. Right here is where you would add your client's information. So in my case, since it's a wedding, I'm going to put here, um, dear, um, Miss, um, dear Mr. and Mrs. Thank you for choosing my company for your needs just like that and then please follow the link below for in oh sorry below to um, make your payment okay and there we have it now I don't want this to look like this dot form here so I'm gonna go to the HTML bring it out a little bit here and you'll see the href right here and then this is the the text so I don't want this to be this text I want this to be wedding payment form like that okay so update and it's gonna be the same um, link except it says wedding payment form thank you and then I could send the email so when I send that email this is what I get oh and what I forgot to do was make a subject I didn't put the subject here I'll usually put uh, mr and Mrs. or the, their names, you know, their last name. So I'll put my last name, Matthews, Matthews Wedding, and then date. So I'll put like 01, 01, 15, something like that. And then send that email so that when they receive the email, it'll say Matthews, Matthews Wedding, etc. So then it'll say, thank you for choosing my company for your needs. Please, you know, for your payment. And they click here. And they get the form with my logo. And they can, they can make their payment, submit the payment. And then everything is set up properly and very professionally. So that's just a quick tip on how to um, get your forms sent or getting your, um, your, your payments paid to you through Stripe. Um, and it just, as you can see, you can use PayPal if you really must, or you can use any of these other payment uh, tools that they have here. Um, thank you very much.